A while ago, I was asked by a customer on site if they could have their FOB work in Control 4. So when they pushed the button on their FOB, it would action something in Control 4. In this instance, it was to turn on some external lights and a water feature on the driveway and send a message to the touchscreens. I scratched my head for a little while and then remembered maybe I could use the input on the Verso to send commands to Control 4. I got the gate engineer to provide a relay output on his gate motor and I connected it to the Verso and everything worked absolutely fine. Then I was asked the same thing by a dealer but to work with Elan to send some form of notification. So I'm going to go through on how we do this. It is a very simple demonstration but I'm going to start with doing this in Elan and then I'm going to do a separate video for Control 4. Let's start by setting things up in the Verso. We'll use the automation functions under the services tab on the 2N, but to be able to access this feature, you do need a gold license applied to the intercom. In your automation tab, let's create some functions. In the events section on the left-hand side, let's drag in a input change panel. With this on the automation canvas, we select the input dropdown and select the input we want to trigger. I've also got an IO module board and a tamper switch installed on my Verso, but I'm going to use just input one for this demonstration. Then for this we can leave the edge as either rising or falling. The edge is a digital signal type that transitions between low to high or high to low. High being 1 and low being 0. But for this demonstration we don't need to worry about that. Now I'll add in some actions. First of all I'm going to add an audible tone. So this could be handy if say the person was at the gate and they're on the phone to the homeowner and the homeowner just presses the fob instead of going to the control system interface. So when they press the fob, it's going to play a tone out of the verso. And I'm going to join that to the event of input changed. Then I'm going to add in the send HTTP request action and input the URI or the uniform resource identifier, which is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 172. 16.25.7 port 1001 which is part of the string to event driver in a LAM and then do a forward slash and then gate fob and that's done then we head over to a LAM configurator and using the intrinsic dev string to event driver I'm going to create a string command called gate fob I've got a dedicated video on the string to event driver should you want to check that out as well I'll then create a push message called gate fob and put in the text field the gate fob has been activated with a couple of tokens, the time and date tokens. Then I'll go to the event mapper tab and create an event map called gate fob. And put the string to event in the event section. So string one received. Then in the actions, I'll display the pop message. Set the driveway lights to on. and then play a chime on the touch panel. But I'm gonna put a five second delay between the lights coming on and the touch panel making a sound so it doesn't conflict with the 2N audible tone for the purposes of this video. Let's do a basic condition if it's day or night time. In this event map, I'll change the name to night time. And in the condition, I'll go to general system, day, night time, and select is daytime and put that to be false. In other words, night time and press OK. 
So when string one is received, if it's night time, then action the commands, which include turning on some lights. I'm then going to create another event map and call that gate fob day. I'll copy the commands from the nighttime event map and paste that into the daytime command section. But I'm going to remove the lights coming on. Put the event in when string one is received and then in the condition section, go to general system, day, nighttime and choose true. So if it's daytime and press OK. Let's go ahead and test this. I've got a piece of cat six here connected to the input of the verso. So this just simulates a contact being received from an external device. My system's currently on the correct time, so night time. So I'll go ahead and touch the cords together and it initiates the actions. The verso makes an audible tone. The LAN touch display displays a pop message and then the touch panel plays a chime and lights come on outside. Now I'm gonna change the time on my machine to think that it's daytime and tell Elan to use computer time. So now Elan thinks that it's daytime. If I now touch the cores together, the same actions happen, but the lights outside don't come on. Very simple, but quite effective. Thank you for watching and I hope it's of some use to anyone looking to use third party relays to trigger actions.